As we all know, the Moon orbits the Earth and the Earth orbits the Sun. And celestial mechanics allows us to calculate these orbits with great precision. When the Moon passes between the Earth and the Sun, we say that the Moon is in the new phase. An eclipse of the Sun can only occur when the Moon is new. However, not all new moons produce a solar eclipse. The Moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted about 5 degrees to the plane of the Earth's orbit around the Sun. As a result, the Moon spends most of its time either above or below the Earth's orbital plane. The Moon passes through the plane only twice during each of its orbits. If the Moon also happens to be in a new Moon phase when it crosses Earth's orbital plane, then a solar eclipse will occur. Most eclipses are partial because new moon takes place just before or after the moon crosses the orbital plane. But if the timing is right, a total eclipse of the sun occurs just as the center of the moon passes directly in front of the center of the sun. The path that the moon shadow makes over the Earth during a total eclipse is called the path of totality. To see a total eclipse, you must be in the path of totality.